It's morning from Level MMA. We got Marcus Gobert with us. Marcus, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're excited morning. about this weekend. Saturday is the big day. Why host another one of these challenge events? Saturday is a big day, third event happening here in town. We are very happy for that. And the reason we do that is first to bring awareness about our sport. It's something that's growing worldwide and obviously in our city also it's growing, right? We are we're having more and more people joining our gym here. And uh, yeah, it's very nice to showcase the technicalities and abilities of our students there. Not just them because we have people coming from all over the place, right? But uh, yeah. And it's become a bit like a calendar event. I know, okay, winter's here. Oh, there's going to be another level MMA event. Summer's here. So it's really great that we're doing these over and over again. And so this year, a little bit different, trying some new things. Yes, that's exactly what we're trying to do, right? We are trying to have one during the summer, one during the winter, because that way we have those two dates in the calendar there. So every six months, roughly, we have something <laughs> happening. And as you said, we are always trying to do something different. We are always trying to evolve the event in different ways, right? For instance, in this next one, this uh, one happening tomorrow, we have a facility with our conditioning. So people are going to be a little bit more cooler than last summer. We have uh, um, live streaming happening. So people coming from out of the town, they can send links to their friends and family there to be able to watch them fighting here. So those are the kind of things we are trying to implement. We want to build a high, le high level event. We want to be compared to the big ones that are happening worldwide, right? So that's the idea. It's always leveling up, always bringing more and more to, to, to the event. And so we were talking about how uh, you guys have competitors and athletes coming in from different places, uh, different provinces, even from the United States. And why is it important for, uh, for an, an athlete to go to these events and, and try the, their art against different people? That's awesome. That's a very good question. Because one of the things we always say, anytime you go to a tournament, it's almost like a month of training in one day, right? Because mm -hmm. normally we get used to train with the same people we train. We train like, let's suppose... At level in the uh, adults class, we have like maybe 50 people training. So we're gonna always train with the same ones, right? But when you go to a different place with a different uh, 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 environment, let's put this way, and you fight against that you never trained before, it's a very nice opportunity for you to change your game and adapt and see things happening in a different way. So it's a very a very nice way to to change the perspective of your game and, and evolve. So for athletes, it's a very good thing. Every time they go to compete, it's almost like a one month spread of evolution in one day. Well, it's very handy that's yeah. right here in the, in the Pemina Valley too. 100%. And uh, so for, uh, at the Meridian Exhibition Center on Saturday, run us through how the day is going to look and what's happening. Awesome. So yeah, Meridian Exhibition Center starting at 9 a.m. We start with the kids first. They fight in both modalities, gi and no gi. Um, after after the kids who come, come with the adults, we start by the lower belts first. So white belts fight first and then blue belts mm -hmm. and then the higher purple, brown, and black fight fighting as well. So yeah, that's going to be the way that they is going to go. Probably going to be staying there from 9 to 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock. So it's going to be a full day of fights. Anyone joining at 9 can come and go. They can go 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 to have some food and then come back and stuff. So it's going to be a very cool day for us. Right on. And so who is this for? Who should be coming out to check out what uh, what Level MMA and, and Mixed Martial Arts is all about? This is an open invite to the whole community for several reasons, right? One, if you are... Uh, uh, curious to see what jiu-jitsu is. That's a very nice opportunity to see jiu-jitsu for kids, jiu-jitsu for ladies, jiu-jitsu for men, in, uh, in all the levels, right? Also, it's very important to cheer for our community. So we have a lot of athletes here uh, from from Winkler, from Moreland, from, from the region here fighting. So it's always nice to have the local support for mm -hmm. people cheering there. And uh, it's a very fun event. Obviously, it's a family-friendly space. One of the things that I always say when I'm opening the event is, okay, let's be respectful here. I want everybody to cheer for their athletes, but let's be respectful. Let's respect each other. Let's have a, a, a good language and a good, a good sporty uh, way there, right? So it's a very fun event. Everybody can cheer. Everybody can yell to their friends and, and loved <laughs> ones. So that's, that's very cool. Well, we're looking forward to see how it goes. If people want to uh, learn more about Level MMA, where can they go? They can go to our website, levelmma.ca. They can go to our social media platforms, level.mma. Or they can come and visit us, right? So as I said, our facility is always open. Everybody can come and see and watch a class if they want. If they feel comfortable, they can come in shorts and t-shirt and do a class with <laughs> us. As yeah, you can take my words. You can do a free trial. Just come and talk to me, and then we can arrange a free trial for you or for your kids. Just come and see what we do there. Well, we're excited about tomorrow, Marcos. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks so much. Hey, I'm Ronnie Gunther. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something going on in the community and you want to share it on the morning show, we'd love to have you. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. If you like the video, give it a like and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.